Hello everybody, CVH here with another news video. I said a couple days ago when I was talking about some potential tournament and spectator mode implications in the game uh, that were leaked a little bit, uh, that I might be back in a couple days with an even bigger news video, and well, here we are. As you can see, I have the official Bethesda legend, legends.bethesda.net site up, a little zoomed in right now. And uh, so basically all this news is out there. Uh, I'm just going to try to keep this brief and touch over the major points. Uh, but needless to say, it's a huge day for Legends. Just want to get this out there on the YouTube in case you guys are getting the news first from my channel and haven't checked these other places yet. Sort of maybe go over a little of my opinions of how awesome this is. But needless to say, it is a pretty big day for Elder Scrolls Legends. Because as you can see, we have the full PC launch, new platforms, expansions, and more. These are all words that we were just, you know, dreaming of hearing for a long time. So let's just go over some major points. After a brief intro, I'll scroll through this. We have the iPad. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What are, what are we are today exactly? We're officially launching Elder Scrolls Legends. We're pleased to announce that the PC version of Legends is now out of beta. Start the game today. Play with friends. Great collection, etc., etc. So we are officially out of what I have called on stream beta hell. It's been like a seven month open beta. It's been productive. We've seen some great balance changes, but we were all kind of tired of having that beta tag attached to our game. Well, guess what? We're now released. Now what that means for the future, as far as expansions, maybe advertising, etc., remains to be seen, but let's read on iPad is going to follow on March 23rd, and I'll link this obviously down below in case you want to check it out for yourself. I strongly encourage you to do so as well as an article I wrote for PC gamer. Um, yeah, I'll link that down below as well. It sort of summarizes things. Android tablets will be following the iPad release in April. Uh, Mac operating system is in May, and mobile phones early summer. And from what I understand, they're probably going to be talking more about that at E3. I think they talk about that a little bit down there as well. Uh, let's see. We will continue to promote healthy play and also keep the game fresh and exciting. We want the meta game and the moment-to-moment -moment play to feel fun and fresh, so we're continually adjusting cards, introducing events like the Chaos Arena to provide a balanced, evolving, and dynamic experience for all players. But they are also announcing the first major story campaign update for Legends coming April 5th called The Fall of the Dark Brotherhood, which is a brand new story that'll feature solo content, more than 20 missions spread across three maps, as well as over 40 new cards. Uh, those who pick up The Fall of the Dark Brotherhood will also receive the Doomwolf Mountain Legends uh, Online, Elder Scrolls Online, excuse me, I always call it Legends, so Elder Scrolls Online on PC and Mac only as a bonus. So yeah, better integrating Legends and the Elder Scrolls Online going forward, so this shows some cross-promotion. That's really good signs for all of us who are worried about maybe potential advertising and marketing going forward, that is a good sign for us. Uh, in May, we'll be adding a variety of features, including a full spectator mode, Twitch integration, a lot of speculation on what this could be, uh, but apparently other games have started doing sort of things where you can get rewards for people streaming or watching the game at a certain time. And maybe some streams that you can like see the links to in the game client itself, maybe in the launcher, I don't know. Uh, support for in-game tournaments with our all-new Gauntlet mode. They're limited time in-game tournaments where you create a deck out of the cards in your collection and compete against other players to reach the top of the Gauntlet leaderboard. The length, conditions, and prizes for the Gauntlets will change from month to month. We'll be talking more about all of our May features in the coming months. And as I mentioned in my PC Gamer article, this sort of has shades of Heroic Tavern Brawl with potentially even greater implications because they're tracking like leaderboards, and these can maybe feed into like bigger tournaments or qualify you for things etc etc uh, we have a whole a whole host of new features and functionality in store for 2017 uh, with aggressive updates to the cards in the metagame new story campaigns and upcoming expansions we want legends to constantly evolve and grow for new and existing players so that's pretty awesome stuff uh, basically everything we've been hoping for and we can see some of this has already been applied let me get the display capture off so it's actually the correct zoom uh, if you go on to Legends right now, you can see the Dark Brotherhood right here. Um, there are even some spoiled cards. I don't know if I can get these up really quick. Let me let me just journey over, if you guys will bear with me, to the Reddit. <clears throat> As you can see, it just pops up really quickly because that's how much I, uh, I have their Dark Brotherhood teaser list. Uh, yeah, so if I had clicked on the Dark Brotherhood in this article like I probably should have done, uh, we can go over to the Dark Brotherhood teaser list. And we can even see some some cards that are be coming out. We have a three cost prophecy slay, which is going to be when um, you. It's already been in the game. It's sort of like Knight Talon Lord slay effects trigger whenever the creature destroys another creature on your turn. In the case of Brotherhood Slayer, you'll receive a completed contract card that you can use whenever you need a little extra magicka. So this is zero cost gain one magicka this turn. Where have we possibly seen a card like this before? I don't know. Uh, I see Cicero. That is, I, I had to show these, obviously, in case you didn't want to look for yourself. But yeah, obviously, one of the, the unique legendaries we can get here: Lethal Slay, draw two cards. Cicero can attack friendly creatures. Uh, Daggers in the dark. 
Um, yeah, look look at these. They're, they're pretty sweet. We already have all this stuff spoiled. Yeah, good luck reading all that text before I scroll away. But you guys can journey for yourself. I'll link all the links down below. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm super excited. This has been what we've been waiting for for basically the better part of... Uh, well, at least six months. I want to say the better part of a year, but we didn't really expect this like a month into open beta. But it's finally happening, guys. We are finally reaching the place where Legends is considered a real game. Super excited for the future. Super excited to see what's in store for spectator mode, the gauntlet tournament mode for in-game tournaments. That's going to really set this game apart. I'd say if you're just finding... <laughs> Did you see the cards? <laughs> if you're just finding out about Legends and you've happened to cross this video, now would be the time to get involved. Uh, and if you've been waiting like me for seven months, hooray, we finally made it. So uh, I guess all that said, uh, feel free to go check out the links down below. Really explore what's uh, been released. I just sort of went over it in bare bones form for you guys to just get the, the news out there. But check it out. Come back. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If these are just amazing changes or whatever. Uh, what would you like to see moving forward? Uh, as always, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more strategy content, deck techs, uh, stream highlights, etc. Follow the stream. I'll also link that in the description. There's going to be a lot of links down there, guys. And I will see you guys next time.